24 minutes past eight. Good to have you with us this morning. Well, here's a question that uh, some of us have been asking for a while. Is it possible to turn back time when it comes to your body? Well, it is according to Tim Bean and Anne Lang, who've written a book on healthy living called Turn Back Your Age Clock. Look and feel 20 years younger, 20 years younger in just eight weeks. And Tim and Anne are here with me this morning. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning Paul. We know the, um, you know, look, 10 years younger in 10 days, those sorts of programs that we've been watching. This is not what this is about. It's not about a quick haircut and a wardrobe change. This is a manual. This is a um, become a student of your own body, really. And um, often people know more about their cars, their hobbies, whatever, than their own body. So it's kind of starting there, isn't it? It's like a DIY manual for your own body. Mm. So it's got all the ageing biomarkers so you can test yourself to see where you're at. Uh, and then advice as to what to do to fix those things. Um, because there's many things that we associate with ageing that aren't anything to do with getting older, but how we age for the time that we've been around. You're both New Zealanders are living in the UK yes. at the moment. I mean, we like to think of ourselves as being healthy and having good active lifestyles. Do you see that here, or are we not taking as good a care of ourselves as we should be? Every year we come back, and it's a living example, we see changes. And so we come back every Christmas and we see some people who are exercising, getting fitter, and they look great. A few grey hairs, but they've got posture, mm. vitality. Um, and then others who have fallen off the bandwagon along the way, you actually see a progression of oldness. They get old, they're um, fatter, and um, stooped, and just, mm. just lose It's it. interesting you say that. So it's uh, not uh, defining age by the number of grey hairs you have, but how you, I guess, uh, how your you posture, position yourself, yes. posture, vitality, things like that. Absolutely. How exactly does the book work? Because it does work in a certain way. It's not just a bunch of tips, is it? No, not at all. It's actually an eight-week plan. So someone can come along, do the tests. Um, we encourage people to take their photos as well, so it's a very real, accountable uh, way of checking where you're at and then follow the plan through so there's a nutrition plan there's an exercise plan and there's four complete workouts there which people can do either in a gym or at their own home the whole family can do them those exercises are safe for children to do as well you, you talk about the test there is quite a large segment in mm -hmm. the book where you can actually test what your current age is yes how does that work what sorts of things we're talking it works about at looking at skin condition so you know, how what the elasticity of your skin is it looks at mental ability in terms of memory tests it looks at things like balance um, which is, you know, part of your cognitive and proprioception ability. Um, physical things like strength, like size, waist circumference is a very important indicator on, on indicating your possible death age from risk of disease and so forth. So there's all those things that put together to form a picture and we can sort of rough calculate an average uh, life expectancy age. The subtitle, Look and Feel 20 Years Younger in Only Eight Weeks, a lot of people will grab that and go, great, I'm 60 years old, I'd like to look and feel 40. But how many people are probably 60 and are there and are actually 60? Probably quite a few. It's not a book that a 15-year-old would pick up and, and <laughs> want to do. You'd be in um, trouble. <laughs> um, but certainly when people are uh, 50, 60, 70, although we, we tend to find that at that age most people are a lot older than they should be, uh, it's just that what's become acceptable in society as, as uh, a condition for an old person is actually probably not in order. We should be expecting to live and live an active life up to 100 years of age. I mean, there are people doing it now, being able to play tennis, water ski, mm -hmm. those sorts of things. And strong people stay young. And that's one of the emphasis on the book is we need, um, we, we get plenty of cardio, a lot of us, but not enough strength work. Mm. And so that, um, again, has a lot to do with your hormonal balance, your posture, um, how you feel, you know, your vitality as well. Tim, this is quite a personal thing for you, mm. because how old are you now? I'm nearly 50 now. Wow, OK. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you're a good advertisement for the book. You're nearly 50. When you were in your 20s, yes. you were not in this kind of physical shape? When I was about 122 kilos, um, and not an ounce of it was muscle. No. Uh, and my doctor actually gave me a medical warning. He said I wasn't going to make it to 30 unless I sort of, you know, sorted myself out and, and found a, a better way of living my life. Mm. And that was an epiphany moment which turned everything around for it me. It has. And interesting enough, you said not an ounce of it was muscle. You have brought in two examples here of what we've got two kilos of... Fat. Fat versus two kilos of muscle. Exactly. And women are so worried about bulking up. And as you can see, it's fat that's bulky, it's not muscle. Yeah. So it's very difficult that's to bulk incredible, up. That's incredible, isn't it? I mean, that's a really well, the interesting thing is if you were to train to put on those two kilos of muscle and then spend the rest of the day sitting in a chair, those two kilos of muscle will burn this two kilos of fat in three months if you don't do anything else. Brilliant. Just because muscle is a metabolic <laughs> engine to do that. Um, just a quick, for people who want to get started, who know mm -hmm. that they're not doing what they probably should be doing, just an easy one tip to get them on the right path. I think start with your head. Um, I think the first thing is to put yourself first because people are too busy looking after their family and their mm -hmm. husbands and other things and their employer even. 
uh, and neglect themselves. So I think put yourself first, prioritise that, and then it makes the whole process so much easier mm. in terms of getting the exercise and the nutrition that you need. Mm. S little small decisions each day, um, just small, small things, changes make, make your trajectory. Mm. Exactly. Mm. It's just like um, shooting a rifle. You know, one little movement can make a big difference at 100 metres mm. or 1,000 metres. So mm. little things you do today can make a big difference 15, 20, 30, 40 years down the track. And they're easy to approach. Thank you for Absolutely. joining us this morning. I'm Tim Bain and Lang. And the book is this one, uh, Turn Back Your Age Clock. Mm. Paul's got a copy. How? I've got a copy. How? Eight weeks. Um, 122 kilos? That's yeah. correct. 120. Yes. God, you would have been a fatty. Well, well it was 122 was. of these kilos as Ooh. well, not 122 of these yeah. kilos. And yeah. that's... Terrible state to be in. <laughs> I mean, I know I look big, but that's because I've got so much of this going on. Yes, and big bone structure, clearly. <laughs> and a big bone. Thank you. Thank you for that. No, it is a big bones. I've always said that. It's big bones. <laughs>